In this video, we're going to go over how you can get solo raid armor and weapons fairly easily. Keep in mind to do this, you will need to have completed encounters within the raids in question so it's in your loot pool. For Vault of Glass, the first thing you're going to need to do is glitch out of the map, and that can sound a little intimidating, but it's really fairly simple. On your Sparrow, what you're going to want to do if you're on console is you want to press left on your stick while you're strafing with a Sparrow left, and then get off. You're also then going to do that same technique, but go into this area right underneath this rock. Once you do that, you'll go underneath the map. Once you're there, follow the jumps that I talk about to get to a loading area. Once you're at the loading area, it's really important then to jump through, but when you die, because you will die, make sure you do not hit the ground because you're going to want to load in and die in the next load zone. Load in and find your route to the chest. And here's the chest. Next, we're talking about Deep Stone Crypt. And for this one, you're going to go to the start area where you kill some enemies. And then you're going to need to do the Sparrow area to get to the first chest. One thing to keep in mind is that you get 10 stacks of Frostbite. It will kill you. Now jump around, get your chest, quickly before Frostbite sets in, and you have your loot. For Last Wish, you're going to need to go to the Wish Wall to go to two different encounters. If you've never done that, here's a path from Cali back to the Wish Wall.
Once you complete that, shoot the wish wall until you get the, the look like this, which is our, the first wish you're gonna need. Step on the plate and you'll go to the encounter. From this spawn location, follow the route I'm showing you to the chest. Once you get here, the chest is a little bit hidden, so I'm going to show you real quick where to jump, jump into this area, grab the chest. Next, you're going to go back to the wish wall, put this wish in to go to Morgoth. For the chest near Morgoth, you're going to need to go backwards over the chasm. To do that with Hunter is very difficult, but you can Shatter Skate. Shatter Skate on console is easier than you think. What you want to do is bind your air dive to a button, then you're going to pull your Eager Edge sword, and then go near the edge, heavy swipe near the edge, immediately hit jump, and the button you have for air dive. Once you do that, you'll go across. Follow this path, the same path for all characters, and grab your chest. I am going to show each of the characters because the jumps on this are very difficult, depending on your character. For Titan, if you have it, use line ramparts and a sword. And you use this and basically kind of hover a little bit, swing, hover a little bit, swing. This will get you past the OOB barrier and get you across. If you get stuck, you can also use Thunder Crash. Lastly, for the Warlock, the Warlock is a pretty easy one. For this one, use Dawnblade of Icarus Dash. Do a Heat Rising to get some extra lift, pop your super, and then just use Icarus Dash to dash across and get your chest. The first chest is where you enter the raid. So kill Savathun's projection and proceed to shoot three crystals along the way to the chest.
for Ruta Nightmares, you're gonna wanna first grab a Nezarek checkpoint. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Obviously you can have someone who's just nice and gives it to you. The other way is using the checkpoint bot. If you're not aware, checkpoint bot is a website that allows you to join and grab checkpoints for specific raids. If you're on console, you're like, well, it's hard to do. For console specifically though, you can use a keyboard to do this. Just use the slash join command. So again, slash join, and then there'll be a checkpoint bot that'll have a Bungie user ID, which you'll see on the website. Use that, make sure you start the encounter, die and you'll get the checkpoint. So I will show you this, I'll slow down where there's some harder items, but there's just a lot of jumping to get back to the chest. And there's some sneaks you have to do too, so pay close attention. I'll try to slow down in those areas. Once you get past this area, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna put your frames down to 30 and walk backwards in the area so you load into another zone. The problem is that's difficult on console. You can do it on PC. So, you know, if you obviously have PC, you can do that as well. 
for console, your really only option at that point is to play last gen console and load it up and be able to do that. Once you do that, you'll go through the door, you'll spawn to a new area, and then there's a bunch of jumping. One thing to keep in mind, none of the jump pads work. So Strand is really useful here. When you get to the very end, make sure you shoot the crystal that'll allow the chest to open up, go up the wall, grab your chest. So with many of these raids, obviously kill the enemies at the very beginning, the opening area, and then follow these jumps. There's a lot of jumping here, then some of it's a little tricky, so Strand is highly recommended. It'll make it super easy. At this point, there's an invisible barrier that the only way you can get through it is by jumping and then sliding right after. Do that, take a corner off this area, and then aim towards a shadowy area down below with a rocket. Once you get there, you'll see, if you see the loading screen, immediately kill yourself the rocket. If you do that, you should load into the next area, which will allow you to get the first chest. Go ahead and grab your chest and move to the next area. You'll notice I do not have loot. That's because I already did this the week I was doing this. So I won't have loot because it's the same character. To get to the top of the next area can be tricky. Some people use Salvation's Grip. Some people use the Strand Rocket Grappling Technique, which is very difficult, especially on console. So, but you can do this with Strand without any extra requirements. It just requires jumping to some hidden areas in the wall.
Once you get up to the top, it, depending on your character, if you're if you're a Titan or Warlock, this will be easier. On a Hunter, you're going to want to jump very high to, and, and float as much as possible before you come down, so you reset the Out of Bounder timer. For a Hunter, I would definitely recommend high jump here if you struggle with this. That's the video guys, remember you can do this on all three characters every week, and obviously you do have to play the raids, but it's it's actually easy to find like some easier encounters to get in on our LFG group. Just do it where you get at least the loot pool filled up, and at that point, if you do that, then you can get, you can potentially get red borders, you can get different roles, and you can do this every week without having to find fire teams. That's the video, if you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guys in the tower.